The Turtle Room. Education. Conservation. Survival. Hello everyone, this is Anthony from The Turtle Room. Uh, many of you may remember a recent article I've written about my experiences going out into the field with a citizen scientist who studies North American wood turtles and eastern box turtles. Well, today I'm going back out for a second time. Last time I went out was late August, so the brush and trees and everything were really overgrown. What's exciting about this trip is that uh, now in early spring the following year, there's not going to be that uh, dense uh, foliage that we'll have to compete with, so it might, it might be a lot easier to find more turtles today, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. As we approach the eastern box turtle habitat, I can't help thinking of past trips out into other areas utilized by this species that are adjacent to cemeteries as well. Perhaps the well manicured grass and wooded surroundings that burial grounds provide are quite suitable for nesting or seeking out food during rain. This trip included much walking. While Michael used his equipment to locate animals via radio transmitter, I kept my eyes peeled for animals outside the study without transmitters. You can guess who had more success. After locating this first female, we set out to find more. Two other box turtles were located and their exact location was documented. Michael hopes to prove how both North American wood turtles and these eastern box turtles are utilizing their habitats, including feeding, breeding activity, hibernacula, and seasonal migrations on an individual level. We took care not to disturb them and did not wait around to get footage of their faces. For more information on this and other exciting colonian species, visit theturtleroom.com.